Hey everybody, this is Marble Knight showing you guys how to make a removable rear apron. This is my 74 bug standard. Just got the fenders off of it and uh, that's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to talk about that. It's really pretty easy. What you want to do is go ahead and get the fenders off and your apron is pretty clear to see. You can see the separation right here. Everything on that side is the apron as you go down. You want to go ahead and clean that up pretty good. Identify the spot welds and get ready to drill them. And there's going to be a bunch of them. So, I don't know if you've seen the factory videos, but some of those guys get really happy with the spot welders, the resistance welders that they use, and this is a case where they did. So this one, let's see, we got here two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen to do on this side alone. And uh, I'll go ahead and drill those out with a spot weld driller, and uh, we'll see what it takes. See what it looks like afterwards. All right, about halfway through drilling the spot welds here, I just wanted to stop and give you a a tip or two. If you've never drilled spot welds before, um, the tools to do it are really pretty cheap. Uh, I mean, you can get them if you got like an Amazon account, then uh, that's where I got these. I just look for the cheapest ones that I could find. Uh, it's like eight bucks for this kind of thing right here. Uh, anyway, when you're using it, if you do not use any kind of lubricant, then you're going to be out of luck pretty fast. Uh, I have drilled all of these with the same bit because I use paraffin wax. And all you got to do is when you're drilling, just lay that on the ground. Uh, get your drill bit loaded up with it pretty good. Just stick it down in there and get the end of it loaded with the wax. And then all you got to do is go to town after you've made your center punches in there. Stop about halfway through. Go ahead and the bit will be hot, so it's going to melt that wax on there real nice anyway, so it's all good. There you go, you saw the sheet metal lift up, so we're through. Easy as that. Alright, guys, this is what it looks like after the spot welds are done. If you did your job correctly, then uh, you should see that the sheet metal is going to pull away from the body real nicely. Uh, in fact, you, right there you see I kind of undid the very last little connection that it had, so uh, see that pulls away real nice from the body. Other side was quite a bit more work. Had a total of 24 spot welds in this one, but once you get them all, it, uh, it pulls right away real nice. Alright, so next step, you've got your uh, deck lid seal, which you're going to need to remove and it's going to expose two holes uh, on either side right here that have got just a little bit of weld in them. Uh, just slip a screwdriver up under there and pop it free. Uh, you might lose a little bit of paint but it's going to be underneath the seal and uh, you won't be able to see it. Uh, you've also got a little bit of weld which I've already cut on this side so you have to cut through that little bit of weld right there with a Dremel. Um, see it on this side where it hasn't been cut yet see it's uh, welded pretty nice right there so we need to cut with a Dremel and just follow that follow that line on the, all the way through and once you're done with that you move on to the hard part so the hard part is these inside pieces which uh, a lot of guys they try to remove these ears this ear down here and there's a big one up here it's kind of this whole thing that you can see what I'm tracing with the screwdriver all of that is one big ear that's attached to the fascia. I don't even fool with them. What I do is uh, take a Dremel and right where the blade of the screwdriver is in there, just cut right down through there real careful and you can get it free. Do the same thing right here. Alright, you don't want to cut so deep that you're going into the body 
just enough to get it free and that's all it takes after that you should be done now I'm doing this with an engine in and you can see with the uh, with the rear tin removed it's really not a big deal just cover your engine up you know you know, make sure you want to protect it and everything from the sparks especially because you got gas in there and uh, let's see how it looks now I think that's it on this side so yeah see that this side is just about ready to pull away with just that little bit of work. I've got about an hour into it right now. Alright, so this is the finished product. This is about an hour of work after getting the fenders off. It'll take a little time getting the fenders off too, but uh, that's what it looks like. That's everything I showed you, okay? There's nothing more. These spot welds, this little weld right here, and then on the inside, the hard part, is cutting off the ears okay there's really nothing else and you gotta cut your seal that's gonna be the most painful part but uh... you, just, you might have to get over that because there's no other way to do it unless you want to drag your seal out every time and if you got an engine in the car that might be a little difficult so I cut them right at the separation in the seal retainers um, when you put your apron back in there it should line up fairly well you'll have a little gap there yes but you know that's it got any questions post them up I'll answer them